Most internets don't fail because the tech is bad. They fail because they're painfully hard to use. Hey everyone, I'm Yarrow from Origami. I've been building SharePoint intranets for almost 20 years now, and I promise you I've seen it all. The messy ones, the boring ones, and the ones people actually love using every day. So in this video, I'll show you nine real intranet designs that not only look great, but make a complete intranet. So all the pages your intranet needs. And I'll explain why these pages work so well. Because whether you're building your intranet your own way or using origami, these tips can help you make an intranet that's modern and just makes sense to people. So let's dive in. This first design is obviously the main homepage. And I love this design because it's not just about tools and links, it's about people. Let's see why. First, when employees open this page, they're greeted by their name and that's powerful. It makes the internet feel like it's actually talking to you and not like in a targeted email blast. Then you've got these featured stories and updates. They're short, visual, easy to scan. It gives the page energy and makes people want to check back often. Like there's always something new happening. Below that, you've got quick access buttons. Things like time off, benefits, help desk, and directory. These links are visual and easy to spot. No hunting through menus, no guessing where things are. Each application has a recognizable logo. It's all right here, one click away. You can even add your own personalized bookmark visible just to you. How cool is that? And I also love the top resources section. You've got this nice mix of search box and clickable categories for things like payroll, job descriptions, SOPs, what have you. But you know what's the real secret about this tool? Instead of searching everywhere like SharePoint already does out of the box, here I could target to show documents from specific libraries so my visitors aren't bombarded with infinite options. This makes the search simple and to the point. And then there's part that really brings the human side to this homepage. Anniversaries, kudos, and the social corner. These are actually three different web parts. This is where people see each other. They celebrate milestones, they share news, and post about things happening across the company. We have this customer who puts in a ton of effort in their LinkedIn presence, and uh, they post employee anniversaries, big announcements uh, onto LinkedIn. So if you have something like that and want to use LinkedIn feed instead of this internal social corner, you can do that too. And in fact, Origami even has a web part for that. And that's what makes the internet feel alive. So overall, this homepage is a perfect balance between information, action, and connection. You've got clear ways to get work done, but also reasons to come back, to read, and to connect. Now here's a whole different kind of homepage I'd like to call a resource-centric homepage. This type of internet homepage is very popular with government administration customers, such as county or city intranets, because these organizations focus less on a brand story and more on tasks. That's why you see search for tasks or forms right at the top, followed by links rather than traditional large news carousel. But the news is not entirely gone. We still have news and announcements below the main search. This is where departments can post project updates, community events, or internal milestones, like a new policy launches or recognition stories. It helps staff stay in the loop about what their department is working on, and it builds a sense of shared purpose across teams. The next part that is also key is the staff directory and the calendar. In a government environment, people often work with members of other departments or divisions forming kind of a task force. So being able to find someone from another division by searching for a role or other attributes can really help speed this collaboration. This particular staff directory from Origami connects to Entra ID directly, meaning when new employee joins or someone retires, this directory updates automatically and you've always got fresh contact information. And what about this calendar? Well, that's where specific internal deadlines are posted. Things like community events and training sessions. That's where it all come together. It's a small detail that helps everyone plan their week without having to check multiple calendars, multiple pages, multiple systems. Depending on permissions, this calendar will even show targeted events only to people who are permitted to see a particular place, such as a department-specific event. 
And at the bottom, there is a row of performance metrics, things like program growth, service statistics, or citizen engagement numbers. It's a great way to keep transparency front and center. Because these particular KPIs can be connected to Power BI or Excel, the staff can see progress in real time and leadership can highlight achievements that matter to the public. This next example, HR department page. Let's be honest, most HR pages on the internet are just overwhelming. They're often packed with links, forms, policies, anything and everything, but it's never clear where to start. So this design turns HR page into a welcoming space where employees can actually find what they need. Look at this. Right at the top, you've got a clean banner with a tagline telling people what this page is for. Nothing complicated, but it's a still tasteful start to the page. Then below that, you've got bright, easy to understand icons for key topics like recruiting, payroll, benefits, training, careers, safety, and ask HR. Everything an employee might need right up front, no scrolling required. You can even target those. So for example, managers see a different set of links and actions than everyone else. The next section is perfect for finding resources and support. On the left, you've got meet the HR team with photos, roles, and contact for HR staff. That makes HR feel accessible and personal, not just a faceless department. On the right, the form search helps people find HR forms by topic. This is actually the same web part we saw earlier, but this time it only returns HR forms. Employee can either search by keyword or browse if they are not sure right away what name of the form is. It's smart, visual, and instantly usable. Then you've got HR newsfeed a mix of HR announcements and policy updates. Employees can read up on new programs, benefit changes, or even team spotlights. The tabs make it easier to filter what's relevant, and uh, you can even bubble up some of these announcements right to the main homepage. This next part is genius for everyday HR questions. Simple, expandable FAQs like how do I request time off, or where can I find HR policies, mean employees can get answers without emailing anyone. And when they do need help, the help desk section shows exactly who to contact, complete with names and photos, which saves everyone time. So overall, this HR page works because it feels like a service page and not a file room. The next example is employee onboarding page. Recruiting a new employee onboarding is such a huge part of any organization, especially companies in growth stage. Yet, most onboarding pages are just checklists long, plain, and easy to forget. But this one, it actually welcomes new employees and walks them through every step of their first 90 days in ways that's simple, visual, and encouraging. Right at the top, there's a personal welcome. Welcome, Sabina. Paired with a short video and quick links to things like timesheets, benefits, and projects. That's such a great first impression. Instead of overwhelming everyone with instruction, it gives them a friendly hello and the top actions that they'll need on day one. Just below that, we've got meet your new colleagues section. I love this because it immediately helps new hires put names to faces. It builds a connection right away before they even step into their first meeting. You can also use this space for department intros, buddy programs, or welcoming notes from managers. On the right-hand side, there's Documents Finder that links to everything a new employee might need. Things like request forms, applications, templates, policies, and a handbook, similar to what we've seen on each HR example page earlier. It's all grouped and clearly labeled, so new hires never have to dig through libraries or guess where something lives. That clarity saves so much time for both HR and the employee. Now, this section, is my favorite, the onboarding roadmap. It breaks down the journey step by step. Step one, complete your form. Step two, attend orientation, and so on and so forth. This kind of visual roadmap keeps the process transparent and motivating. New employees can literally see their progress. This web part even lets you enable tracking if you like it, so employees can check what they have completed and managers can see their progress. Right next to the roadmap, we have a calendar which can be paired together with a roadmap and show onboarding sessions and milestones. Below that, 
there's a simple timeline that outlines what to expect during the first day, first week, first month, and quarter. It sets clear expectation and reduces that what do I do next anxiety that so many new hires feel. You can even link each stage to a task list or checklist for more interactive experience. Finally, the onboarding contacts section lists the key people who can help. HR manager or onboarding coordinator with names, photos, and emails. This gives every new employee an instant sense of support. They know exactly who to reach out uh, to if they have a question or get stuck. Next up, employee benefits page. Another must have for an intranet is employee benefits page. And to be honest, benefits pages are often the hardest part of any intranet. There's so much information, so many forms, and so many exceptions that employees don't even know where to start. But not this page. Let's see why. As always, we start with a clean banner, and right below that you've got clean, visual, quick links to top actions. Benefits guide, find a health provider, enrollment portal, submit a claim, forms, 401k, and contact HR. It's simple and predictable, exactly what you want when people are looking for important information. If you have employees in different geographies, you can even target these links so I only see what applies to me. The getting started panel answers the questions employees ask first. Who's eligible? When do I enroll? How do I make changes? Short answers, clear formatting. It's perfect for reducing those repetitive emails to HR. Then on the right hand side, there's key contacts panel with photos and names for HR team again to provide real support to questions employees might have and couldn't find answers to. The next part is my favorite, where we see benefits broken down into clear categories. Health and wellness, financial well-being, family care, and lifestyle and perks. Each card has an image, short description, and view details link. It feels modern, scannable, and visually balanced. You can also target these tabs so that, if, for example, managers see benefits specific to them. All this helps quickly find what's relevant to employees, whether it's medical coverage or family leave. And finally, as always, the FAQ tie it all together. Simple expand and collapse questions like, when does my coverage start? Or how do I add a dependent? This is the kind of content employees look for most, and it's right there when they expect it. No extra clicks. So overall, this page turns a potentially complex HR topic into something mostly self-serve. Similar to the last example, let's quickly talk about payroll and expenses page because payroll and expenses are two of the most searched for topics on any internet and also two of the easiest to overcomplicate. And this design fixes that. We've got similar part of the design as on the last page, but what's different here is this beautiful card carousel that breaks down all the key processes into one place. How to submit an expense, claim forms, deadlines, and policies. Each card gives a short summary with a link to the full policy or form and if you have more cards and more information, you can enable a sliding carousel or tabs to help categorize each topic. The last on the list of my HR related pages is a learning and development page, L&D. You see, most training pages feel like homework, generic and untargeted list of links that you just want to skip. So how do we fix that? We personalize. Let's see how. As we scroll down this page, I see a training calendar that shows up upcoming sessions at a glance, and my training bookmarks help me keep track of saved and ongoing courses. And on the right, the mandatory reads panel shows what articles and modules are waiting for me to read and acknowledge. These are not some generic courses because an administrator can target events or in this case courses to my department so I know I'm getting what I need to read. And if I miss a deadline, I can see the reminder highlighted right away. So the entire part feels like a structured dashboard that's personalized to me. The training overview section is where this page really shines. You can use this to show details of the featured course, break down course modules, and outline the agenda of what will be delivered. So much easier to read than some document, and it can make a huge difference in how people engage with the learning content. 
Scrolling down, you'll see resources for your role broken into levels like associate, manager, and director. This is such a smart touch because it personalizes learning. I can explore what do I need to know for my next career move as well as to stay up to date on what's required for me today. Each role has its own section with required certifications, key training resources, and growth opportunities. So this page works because it turns training from a task into the experience. It's visual, it's personalized, and that way it respects people's time. Whether it's on board or professional growth, this layout makes a learning easy. Now onto something completely different and yet so common for many intranets, the knowledge base pages. Every intranet needs a place where people can find answers. But most knowledge bases end up giant document dumps. Too many links, too much text and no clear structure. Let's see how this page does better. Right at the top, there's a clear search bar that says exactly what it does. Search all knowledge base articles. It's front and center, not tucked away somewhere, because for most employees, search is the fastest way to get to the answer. Just below that, the articles by category section breaks things down into visual tiles. HR, product, IT support, finance, and compliance knowledge base. This layout gives users two ways to find what they need, either search directly, or if they don't know what to search, browse by category. Next, the popular article section adds a nice layer of intelligence. Let me show you how. It shows the questions people ask most, things like, you know, in this case, resetting passwords, connecting to a printer, or setting up multi-factor authentication. Users can see that the internet already knows what can be important to them by popularity. And the tabs across the top, IT support, HR, and employee resources, product knowledge, let users filter without leaving the page. At the bottom, there is a simple but powerful touch, the missing anything feedback box. It invites users to tell the internet team if they couldn't find something. This turns the knowledge base into a living system. It grows based on real employee needs and feedback instead of guesses. So this page works because it's not trying to show everything, it's guiding you to what matters most. Now that we've seen a top level landing page for a knowledge base, let's see how the knowledge base article page looks like. Because having a knowledge base is one thing, but what really makes it work is how each article is designed. Because when someone clicks, how do I reset my password? They don't want a wall of text. They want quick, clear steps that actually solve their problem. But before I go right into the page, I love this dynamic left navigation I wanted to show you. That's such a useful feature. It lets people jump between related help topics without needing to go back to the home page. Very user friendly, definitely recommend something like that. Looking at the top of the article page, a large clear title, in this case, how do I reset the password, sets the stage immediately with a banner image and short overview that tells you what this article covers in case the user wants to go back, in case they made a mistake. The main content is broken down into five simple steps. In this case, log into your account, access security settings, etc. It's clean and visual. This format works because people can scan it quickly and complete the task without confusion or extra reading. Below the steps, there's a section for common errors, for exceptions. So things like, I didn't receive the password email or the reset link expired. These are expandable so users only open what's relevant to them in a the moment they're not cluttered with a page. It's a great way to handle troubleshooting without just cluttering the whole main content. And on the right, the Still Need Help panel lists real people with names and photos, uh, basically a human backup for when self-service just isn't enough. This layout works because it meets users where they are. They're probably mid-task, probably short on time, waiting for other things to go and do. So this format guides users visually, gives just enough detail to solve the problem, and offers real help if they're still stuck. This password reset example is pretty simple, so as you're designing your own knowledge base with more complex articles, just remember, don't just think about storing information, think about how people use it. Break things down, add visuals, include real contacts, maybe even add videos, because when your KB pages are simple, 
your internet becomes more than a repository. It becomes a real support system. So there you have it. Top nine SharePoint internet examples. I hope it helps with your next SharePoint project. Keep up a great work and I'll see you here really soon.